In this video, I'll show you exactly how to get free certificates from companies like Google, Microsoft and IBM, and top universities like Harvard, MIT and Stanford. I will show you everything step by step, and there will be two different ways to do this, so let's begin with part one right away. Did you know that you have the power to access and take almost any course available on Coursera for free? And not just take it, but you can also earn a free certificate. This is what we're going to talk about today, and I'm going to show you exactly how this works works and how to get free Coursera certificates in 2024 step by step. I'm going to show you all the different ways that you can do this and yes this actually works and it's completely ethical. It's a great way to learn and boost your resume by showing that you completed a course and received a certificate that you actually took the time to go all the way. So if you're looking to start a new career or just boost your existing one this can actually be a great option that you can do for free. Now Coursera is one of the most popular online learning platforms and they have programs in literally every field. They partner with over 325 leading universities and major companies, including Duke University, Stanford, University of Michigan, and companies like Google, IBM, and Meta. You can take courses and get certified from every single one of these for free. And normally it's a subscription, which depending on your region will cost around 49 bucks per month, but they also offer certain one-time payments. And sure, it's not that expensive considering what you're getting. I mean, you're getting access to a library of over 4,000 courses and certificates, and it's a very reasonable investment in my opinion. If you compare it to college or boot camps, which are usually tens of thousands of dollars, but not everyone is in a position where they can afford the subscription. And that's completely reasonable. When you're just trying to get by, the first thing you're going to spend money on is not going to be an online course that's completely reasonable i think and it would be crazy to assume that you're going to spend money on this plus depending on purchasing power it can actually be quite expensive so now we're on coursera and i'm going to show you more exactly how we do this step by step as well as show you a little bit about coursera and how to get started the first thing that you can see here is just the main page um i actually selected find your new career as i think it's a better page to show you um, how this works there are a couple of different fields or job roles, as you can see over here. And all of these are kind of linked to different certifications or different courses that you can take. But what we're going to do is we're going to click up here. We're going to look at all the different subjects and you can select anything you want. This applies to literally all of the subjects available on Coursera. But in our case, we're just going to select, for example, a business. And we're going to click on most popular courses in a business. Now, as you can see here, the most popular course is the Google Project Management Professional Certificate. And there are both beginner like normal courses, as well as actual collections of courses, which is called a professional certificate. And in our case, we're just going to select this one right away. Now, when we land on this page, you'll see a couple of different options. And the first thing to take a look at is enroll for free. Now, if we click on here, you're only going to see a free trial and you're not actually going to be able to enroll for free permanently. It's only a seven day free trial, which is still pretty good. And we'll talk more about that later, but it's only free trial and it's not really what we're looking for. Now, if we scroll down here, you will actually see all of the individual courses. And in this one, there are six courses available in this professional certificate. What we're going to do is we're going to click on each individual one. So in this case, we'll click on foundations of project management. And as you can see, this is actually the separate course or the individual course with four modules inside of it. And we can see that it's still beginner level. Now, this one is actually a part of this professional certificate that we're talking about. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on enroll for free. And now you can see that the screen is looking a little bit different. It's very similar. But at the bottom of the screen, there's actually an option to audit the course. And if you click on this one, that is how you start the course for free or well, or first alternative. Now, in my case, I had already completed that specific course. So I'm going to show you something else just for clarification. What you do is you go to the digital marketing one and I'll click on the first course in the certification and we'll click here and audit the course. And now you're going to see that we're actually going to go into the course right away and you can enroll for free. And it's basically a way to just start the course for free and just get right into it. Here, we're able to basically access all of the material, but we're not able to access the exams and we're also not able to access the certification. And for that, we actually have to pay. You can access all of the courses for free, but this is not really what we're talking about in this video. We're going to go back to the actual professional certificate itself. And this also works for individual courses if you're looking to do so. And the only thing you want to do is you want to click on financial aid available. And here you can see that it's there are a couple of different options. We can have 10 different applications at the same time, or you fill in an application requesting financial aid, 
and then you'll get a discount on the course, a very significant discount if you get accepted. In our case, we're going to click on course number one, and you can only apply for one at each time. And applications can take up to 16 days to be reviewed. So it does usually take a little bit over two weeks for this one to get accepted. So just be aware of that. I think it's mainly a system that they implemented because first of all, it takes it some time for them to actually review the applications. And secondly, they don't want people to abuse it too much just to get a discount if they don't need it. So that's why they spend a little bit more time doing this. So if you are going to be doing this, make sure that you apply ahead so that you don't have to wait you know, two weeks um, to take your exams when you want to do this. And if approved, you'll be eligible to receive up to 75% of the regular purchase price. Now, some people, if you've been using Coursera for a couple of years, will remember that back in the days, you could get 100% off and get this one completely for free. But we are going to talk about a way to do that. But unfortunately, you cannot really do that with these financial aid options anymore. Um, it might work for some courses, but generally speaking, this is the maximum they're going to be getting at 75%. So now what you do is you click on continue the application. And here you can basically see that on the first page, you'll just fill in your information about your education. So for example, high school, let's put high school, um, you might put in euros or, you know, dollars or whatever currency that you're working with. Um, let's put in dollars in this case, let me find that Let's say that your annual income, I have absolutely no idea. So, you know, we're requesting financial aid, so it's completely up to you. Um, and then you put in your, you know, student or if you're unemployed, your part time, other, whatever you're doing. Uh, I'm just going to put in student here because I think it's um, the best option for financial aid, for example. And um, then you would just want to put in 150 words or max about why you want to be accepted. I just asked ChatGPT to generate some uh, basic text. And uh, we're obviously not going to send this application. I just want to demonstrate how to do this. And um, now what you can see here is that you can actually see if you should be paying something for the course. So you can see how much you're willing to pay. And let's say that you're willing to pay basically everything, then you shouldn't apply for financial aid in the first place. But let's say you're willing to pay zero, or you're willing to pay, you know, whatever you're willing to pay, you should put this in and you will get um, something similar to it. So let's say that you're, you're looking for 50%, they're probably going to give you 50% because um, it's reasonable. If you're looking for 0%, I mean, they're probably not going to give it to you. Um, I'm not actually sure if they do more than 75% anymore, but at least they're saying that they don't do more than 75% discount. So just keep that in mind. And then there's also something here, you should be applying how will your selected course help with your goals, fill in this information, and then accept these things and just agree and then you can send it in. Now I do want to kind of address the elephant in the room and you're probably wondering where is the free certificate as this is only a discount that you're getting when you're applying for one of these jobs. And unfortunately things have changed and there is no full financial aid available from my knowledge on Coursera, at least not listed publicly. Rather it's kind of a significant discount on the course. But I do have a bonus for you and if you are looking to take the course completely for free, and get a certificate, you can still do it, there's still a way, and the way is to use their seven day free trial. This one is still available for many courses and specializations, and you basically just audit the course first, and then take the exam within the seven free trial days. I'm not saying that this is easy or the perfect way to do so. For most people, financial aid is going to be a better way, but there's still actually a way to do that if you leverage the free trials available to you. Now let's discuss some things to keep in mind as well. And the first thing is that it's going to take a while. So if you do want to start right away today, then you're either just going to have to start, you know, actually auditing the course or pay later or just take the exams later. And also keep in mind that for professional certificates and specializations, you're going to have to apply to each individual course, because if you forget to apply and then you might want to just continue in the program and realize that you actually have to apply to each individual course and not just one time for the you know, overall specialization that you're completing. I also think something really, really important that people usually forget is that you should try out the course before you apply, because you're going to have to spend some time writing the application. And you want to make sure that you're at least going to use the course for which you're applying for financial aid for. And if you're only looking at the course, then you can do that for free. And you don't even need to apply for financial aid in the first place and spend your time doing so. I also want to really emphasize that I've shown you this because I think it can help people who really need it. And you should do this ethically, as long as you actually 
need financial aid, but it is a limited part. And if you're, you know, abusing this, you might be taking it away from somebody who actually needs it. I think it's a wonderful thing that is available, but if it gets abused, it's obviously not going to be able to exist. And I think that's one of the reasons why they actually decreased it from 100% to 75% in the first place. Thanks for watching this video, and I wish you good luck learning and all the best in the future. In this video, I'll cover exactly how financial aid works on EDX. EDX is a MOOC platform which stands for Open Online Courses and they offer courses and certificates in all sorts of fields from tech to business and even design. And they were actually founded by two universities back in 2012, Harvard and MIT. Now there are hundreds of other schools and companies offering their courses on EDX. Now you can take many of these courses for free, but for the full experience you'll have to pay. And it's pretty expensive actually, it can cost you hundreds of dollars for a certificate. But I want to show you how to take these courses and get certificates without spending that money. And at the end of this video I will also answer any possible questions you may have, such as what happens if you get accepted, what if you get rejected, and how to fix that, and more. So let's begin. So we're landing here on the home page and I'm just going to show you exactly how to do this step by step. So first we're going to click on learn and now we can see all of the courses that are available. You can also sort by certificate or by topic. So there are many different ways to find your course. You can also search up here if you want to do that. But I already have an example for you. So I'm just going to bring this one up right away. Now in this case, this is the computer science for artificial intelligence professional certificate. And as you can see, the price with a discount is around $466, which is pretty significant for just one single certificate. And to be honest, it's only two courses, so it's a lot of money that you're spending to get this one. Now, we cannot really do a lot of things on this page. So if we're looking to get financial aid, we need to actually click on each individual course. And what we're going to do is we're just going to open this up, go to the next page, and now you'll be able to see that we're on the actual course website. because. In this one, there are actually two courses in the professional certificate. So we're going to click on one of these. Now, for demonstration purposes, I actually want to show you this one instead. So what we're going to do is we're just going to open this up. And now we're here on the Harvard CS50 Introduction to Artificial Intelligence with Python. Now, you can see that there's a button here that says, or a screen that says, free optional upgrade available which means that you can actually enroll for free in the course and just go through the basic material and this also means that financial aid is available for the course now i've already enrolled in this course so we're just going to click here but if you're starting out you can just click enroll for free now this is going to be the screen when you enter the course and you can see the course dates discussion whatever but the only thing that's important for us is going to be this button over here, which is financial assistance. The main difference between starting this course for free and if you get the financial aid or if you pay for it, is going to be that you'll get a graded assignment and you'll also be able to get the final certificate. So you can still enroll in the entire course for free, but if you want those two things, then you must either pay or get financial assistance. In our case, we're just gonna click on this button over here. Now, this is the screen that we see and it says financial assistance application. Now, you can see that this is basically intended to evaluate your application for financial assistance and to further develop our financial assistance program. So this is a form that you're gonna have to fill out. Now, I'm gonna show you how to do this, but just bear with me one second because we first need to cover what is actually eligible for financial aid and how you can get it. So as you can see, please note that while assistance is available in most courses that offer verified certificates a few courses and programs are not eligible but most of them are actually eligible for financial aid you must complete a separate application for each course that you take which means that if you take a certificate like this one you must complete one application for each individual course which is not too bad for this one you may be approved for financial assistance five times per year based on a 12 month period from your first approval which means that if it's a course with with over five exams or over five different five different courses I should say then it's perhaps not the best idea because you will have to pay for one of them unless you want to wait 12 months which is a pretty long time to take a course so generally speaking it's gonna be best if you're taking it for a course that has five courses in it because you'll need essentially five different financial aids uh, to do so now it also says that you basically just enroll for free like we did and then you complete the application and then check your email and please allow four weeks for your application to be processed now generally speaking you can expect around two to five days for the application but just be aware that it can take up to four weeks to process now we're going to click on this button over here which is apply for financial assistance now here you're going to get to this screen which is going to be application details and you're going to select the course that you're applying to 
Now, in this case, we would apply to the introduction to artificial intelligence with Python, for example. Now, in some cases, you will actually get a few questions over here, which are just going to be basic reasoning and just basically saying why you need financial aid. And it's generally speaking going to be around 150 words. It's nothing major. Just fill it in honestly, because if you actually need financial aid, it shouldn't be a problem to fill in at all. And then once you're done with this, just click on submit application and you are done. Now, once you've sent the application, you will have to wait around two to five days, like I said, but it can also take up to four weeks. And if you get accepted or rejected, you will receive an email. And in this email, there's going to be a coupon code, which basically all you do is that you go into the course that you want to, you know, get and you enroll in the course like we did last time. We just enrolled in the course. And then as you can see over here, there's going to be a pursue a verified certificate. And this is the one that you're going to be clicking on. So click for this one. It's going to be $2.99 for the certificate. But in our case, we're, we don't have to pay this because all we do is we apply the coupon code over here. Now, sometimes you're going to be automatically able to just click on the link in the email. So you don't have to do this, but essentially you just want to add the coupon code here and it should just be applying all the discounts. Now, the most important question that you might have is how big is the discount? And no, the discount is unfortunately not 100%, but it's still a very significant discount and 90% is the maximum discount rate offered. So for a course that generally costs $299, you would be paying around 29 bucks, which yes, it's not free, but comparably it's still a pretty good price. I've personally not seen any other ways of getting a higher discount, but if you do know another way, please drop a comment below. One way that you could possibly, you know, even get it cheaper is if you enroll in the course during a promotion or a sale and you're able to get a and you're able to get a 90% discount off the initial discounted price. And I also think something that's very important to know is again what courses offer EDX financial assistance. And as you can see, we just briefly talked about this that most courses actually offer them and as you can see that is the case we're on their edx help center but there are going to be a couple of specific ones that don't offer these and that is going to be professional education courses executive education courses boot camps and also any course unavailable in the free audit tracks so basically what that means is that if you see this screen then it means that financial aid is available like i mentioned but if this is not available and you cannot enroll for free then financial aid is also not going to be available for the course and finally any course or programs from a partner doanx or from teflx or a couple of other ones but generally speaking most of them are going to be including financial aid just check for the free optional upgrade available now i want to address some of the remaining questions that people might have and the first one is who is eligible for financial aid in the first place now with dx there is no specific income threshold and it's just more about if you can reason and actually justify why you would need financial aid and how this is going to be helpful and why you cannot afford it in the first place but there's no specific income threshold, so it's more about just proving your case if you are asked about the questions, and if you're not, then you just tick three simple buttons and you're good to go. The idea with financial aid is not to, you know, trick you or something. They are actually trying to help people. That is the entire purpose of it. And it is also why MIT is offering something called MIT Open Courseware, where they basically offer all of their courses, and they are one of the founders behind EDX, so it's kind of in the same helpful way. Now, what information do I need to provide when applying for financial aid? It is mostly going to be about your employment status, your annual income, and the reasons for taking the course, and how the course is actually going to help you achieve your goals. But remember, this is only if you're asked about the specific questions, otherwise just tick the three boxes and good to go. Can I apply for financial aid for multiple courses? Yes, you can, and you can do that no problem but you will have to send an application for each individual course. You cannot apply for a certificate. You have to actually apply for in each individual course. And what happens if my financial aid application is denied? Now, if that happens, you can still enroll in the course for free or you can pay for it. But what you can also do is that you can send a reapplication or you can, you know, go through the process once again and you can try to address any issues that were mentioned in the denial. Can I start the course and then apply for financial aid later? Yes, you can. You can actually enroll for free and then you can apply for financial aid whenever you want to, as long as you're still within the reasonable limits of the course. But that is not a problem. You can take all of the material and then do the exams later once you receive financial aid. And those are some of the basic questions. If you do have more, please drop a comment below. I will try to answer some of your comments, but I also get a lot of comments. So I really appreciate if you guys help each other out. Thanks for watching this video and I hope this was helpful and good luck on your learning journey.